Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian here for the Southern Maryland Small Business COVID Update Project. This is episode four. On this episode, we visit Julia and she has a company called Stained Glass by Julia. Awesome products. Uh, she makes all sorts of things. Whether it be in fall, you're gonna see the pumpkin she was working on here. She's a really amazing talent and artist. And you know, look into her, look into her, her work. You can order it online or on the Facebook page and I'll put it in the description below the links and check it out. So if you want to see more of this series, go ahead and also hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'm going to roll her interview now. Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian here. So I'm here with Julia and she's got a stained glass company, Stained Glass by Julia. So tell me a little bit about your business and how'd you get started? So I got started when I was back in high school. I think I was 16 at the time is when my mom's coworker invited us down to do make a little small little butterfly okay. and we went down there one evening I think it was a Thursday evening we went down there and ever since I started doing it I told my mom I was like it, I love it it relaxes me come home from work and that's what I've been doing ever since that's pretty cool it's you know and finding things that relax you um, like I do photography and videography just because I enjoy doing it mm -hmm. it makes it not work so it's so much more fun so what type of art pieces do you do I know I'm gonna tell y'all uh, my wife and I bought a really cool one. I can't tell you what it is because somebody might see this and it's for their Christmas present, so we're not going to tell you what it was. But what type of art pieces can you do? Can you pretty much do anything? I can pretty much do anything from getting a pattern off of Google and making it either small or medium or large, or I can custom make a piece. I custom okay. made, um, it was a three foot tall blue heron that I custom made. I took some pieces out and I redrew them and I made it for a lady and it took me a month to do and she's been in love with it ever since. Nice. And so what's the smallest you do? What? So the smallest I do is a butterfly that's probably about maybe that big. Okay. It's not too big. It's only four pieces and then I'm done. Okay. And then what about the largest? The largest I've done was the blue heron I did that was three feet tall. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always fascinated by people that have artistic talent like you because I don't have that talent. So mm -hmm. when I see artwork like that, I just, I look at it and go, that's really cool. Um, so I bought one of your pieces at Sarandi Farm, uh, great farm here also in Southern Maryland. How has COVID affected you being able to take your artwork to events like that? So COVID have really, has really affected me where I can't go to events because of the sickness going around people not wanting to come out so I posted I mainly posted all on my Facebook page or my website just to get the word out there that hey I make stained glass and these are the products that are already done and also getting my supplies in my supplies take anywhere from it used to be two to three weeks and now it like it would be a month or it'd be on back order so I would have to wait even longer okay but if you order them they will get to you they will be awesome uh, what do you want to say to your customers that have been able to buy your pieces and order pieces lately? So I just want to say thank you to everybody that has bought my pieces and they fell in love with them and they're patiently waiting for them because I do take my time on them. I don't rush. I don't like rushing on my pieces because I want them to look perfect. And I just want to thank you guys for that. Awesome. So everybody check it out. I'm going to put it in the link below. You'll have her Facebook page and web page. Uh, send her something and that you want to order and she'll get it for you her prices are great uh, the piece we bought we is very fair how it's priced and we are gonna get more pieces from her soon for our house so Julia thank you so much for having me today and being on here uh, this is episode 4 of our Southern Maryland small business COVID updates and we will see you again soon thanks Julia thank you Welcome back. That was pretty cool, huh? The, uh, the time she puts into building these pieces is just amazing. Uh, it's, she doesn't rush it. She wants to make sure each piece is perfect for what her customers want. It's taking her a little bit right now with the COVID issue going on with getting supplies. But, you know, she, she makes pieces like this and a lot of different other, other items. And if you have something that you want to order, you can send her a note uh, and she'll custom make a piece. So check out her links in the description, her Facebook page and her web page will be there. Reach out to her and she can make whatever you want. Again, amazing young lady, Julia, thank you so much for taking the time to film this with me. This again was episode four of the Southern Maryland Small Business COVID Updates. 
We will catch you hopefully for episode five uh, here shortly. We're trying to find another business. For now, we'll see you later. Bye.